Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm War again. You're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today, I have a confession. So let's jump right into it. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, consider subscribing, and if you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a reminder, the September giveaway has started, so be sure you leave a comment on every one of my videos in September for a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Now let's jump into what my confession is. Well you see guys, I have the dream garage, or at least one of my dream garages right now. It will always change and I will always strive for a better garage, but I have let something get a little bit out of control and that is the cleanness of my garage. As I mentioned, I have a Jeep Gladiator build that's gonna start. I have my off-the-grid, off-road camper build that's gonna start. I have another project over there that's gonna start. And then another project in the garage that's gonna start. And I need them all done in the next month. So that's a lot of content and a lot of filming and a lot of purchases. So what I do when I start a project is I order everything I need for that project or at least everything I think I need for the project. And with that comes a lot of space requirement. And let's check the mess that I've created. So here is my garage. I have stuff everywhere. It is a mess. Let's jump over to the other side. Look at all that stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm actually embarrassed. <laughs> and more stuff. And more stuff. And more stuff. Alright, you get my point. It's a damn mess in here. And... Yes. <laughs> it's been a combination of doing a lot of stuff in a short period of time, buying a lot of things, um, but this mess has to be sorted out. So as we all know, the seasons are changing. And some of you may know I boat. I have called it quits on the boat for the season. The temperature is a little bit too cold on Lake Michigan for the kids to go boating without a sweater. And if you wanna go boating with a sweater, uh, nothing against you, but that's not what boats are for. Boats are for enjoying the sun. And with Lake Michigan being such a big body of water, it does get cold and the breezes are chilly there. So I have to do a lot of shuffling today. I need to clean out this garage. I need to move some cars around. I need to get my boat trailer that's all the way in the back there. Get the R32 out the garage because I've got these little projects I want to do in the garage. And then hopefully everything will be clean. So today's video is just going to be a fall cleaning video if you will or the fall shuffle and by the end of the day everything will look perfect and ready to go to start working on all these different projects the r32 is just going to go on my race trailer for now probably for a month or two until all these projects are done then i'm going to put it back in the garage so i can get work on that this winter so if you just want to see a time-lapsed long edit of me moving faster than I actually move, stick around. And if you don't wanna see that, be sure to subscribe so you'll see the next video when I start doing the Gladiator build, the Winnebago build, the new car build, the new motorcycle build, and my plan is to get them all done in a month. So nothing like the R32 project, these builds should be quick. So let's jump into me going like this.
Alrighty guys, I've done the trailer shuffle, moved everything around, um, and I am really contemplating if I should put the R32 on the trailer or not. Um, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, I can just put the car trailer back here. This is where I park everything. Um, and then the R32. I think I'm just gonna do that. Uh, so for now, I need to put some tires, wheels on the R32. Hopefully it starts. I'll uh, put these winter wheels on, put it on. There's no seat or anything in there. And then I am going to hopefully drive it over here. And if not, I guess I'm gonna push it. This looks awkward. No R32 in the garage. Uh, it's amazing how much space you actually have when you don't have a project car in the middle. Obviously, there's still a crazy mess everywhere. Uh, R32 is down there. I don't want to leave it outside for too long because panels are off and I don't want mice and whatever getting in there right when it's starting to get cold. So what I'm gonna do is uh, leaf blow everything out here, pick up the trash, throw the trash away and then get my project motorcycle, put it on the lift so I can start cleaning up that area and then start organizing all of this so it can be a functioning, working garage again. Forever young, or am I faking on the tip of my tongue? There's a Sarcasm waiting for you I'm willing to trade my soul for a bit of your charm There's no way I fade into oblivion Alrighty, so as you can see um, It's pretty easy to convert my, my lift into a motorcycle lift I have a video about how to do that So be sure to check that out but this is one of my four or five projects, four that I need to get done in the next month. Um, I will have a detailed video about my TW200, but now it's nice, I can put everything I need to work on the bike here and then get the bike done. It should relatively, it should be relatively quick, maybe a video or two for that. So now to keep cleaning. Oh yeah, keep trying to get Well guys, I didn't want to bore you too much, but it is done. There's organized chaos inside the garage now. So now I can actually park the Jeep in here because I still have the roof and doors off. That's the next project. 
let me go through these uh you know organized piles if you will everything from the propane over is all for the camper everything from here to the propane is the jeep gladiator build and everything from here to here i'm missing two tires still is the expedition build now if you head on over to this area i have my new tw200 bike up here this is going to be my recovery vehicle for my off-road adventures in the camper and in the overlanding vehicle the jeep or the expedition um with that this is uh i can't remember is a 2005 it just needs some updating uh new chain and oil change and stuff so this is going to be the first project i tackle on this series here and obviously i still have my two other bikes in the garage which are crowding this area right now but i might get a couple more rides out of these bikes before i have to put them in storage so that's it for today thanks a lot for tuning in hmm i don't know if this helped you at all but that's what i do it takes me about seven hours to clean out the garage and organize everything once i let it go crazy so it's definitely worth it if you just uh clean it as you go i just had a lot of things going on i had to sell a rental house i bought a camper I had to drive to michigan buy another car I had to drive to wisconsin buy the motorbike so i just had a lot of things going on all at once that let me get out of control but that's it for today guys and i'll see you next time